perfect. Is Accounting? it blinking? Yeah. Is it counting? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Alright, so just relax. Hello, Catherine. Hello. How are you, Dave? Good. How are you, Dave? Good. Um, so, yeah, I just want to, if, if it's okay with you, just want to talk about um, a few things that are going on in your life mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, and SLA. Um, yeah. Obviously, we've talked about it before, but I don't know what's happening recently, so maybe give us an update or let us, t just, yeah, fill us in on what's going on. And how, when was your last, when was your last meeting? Um, probably a month ago now. That's a while. So, yeah, that's too long away. How come a month ago? Um, just been very busy studying and, yeah, just all the way to Sydney, so it's pretty oh, far isn't away. Isn't any up here at all? Mm, not anymore. Mm. No. So, alright. So, tell me, tell me what's going on. But the meetings are really good. The last one I went to was very good. There was um, a lot of people there that I felt like I was helping, so <clears throat> I was really happy. I feel very comfortable in the meetings when I go because I feel like everybody understands what the same things that I'm going through, whereas in AA they don't understand that stuff, and I mainly am a sex and love addict, so. I need to be around people that understand that. Yeah. So I like to. I need to be able to talk about it. So what did like? So what's? Did, did you get to share last <clears throat> last meeting? Yeah. So like, what can you? You like you know tell yeah, me what so was going on. Yeah. So I was just trying to realise that it was over with my ex partner that I kept going back to, <clears throat> and each time I kept going back to him, it was like very upsetting for me because I felt very rejected because he was always sleeping all the time like all day and he very rarely like gave me any attention or he didn't want to have sex with me so that made me feel very rejected and ugly and just really <clears throat> bad about myself so I had to really realize that this guy isn't good for me in that way like I do care about him like I care about people mm. but <clears throat> I was very addicted to this person in a very unhealthy way, so I needed to stop that and detach, and I felt that I'm ready to do that. What do you mean, like, why, how do you know that it's very unhealthy? Um, I think I know that because of, I would forget about myself when I was with him, and when I thought about him all the time, when I was involved with him, I wouldn't concentrate on my studies or eating, I wouldn't even eat. Oh really? Yeah, I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't drink water, I would forget to just do normal things. Shit, so it is like so, a normal addiction. Yep. You'd forget every everything, nothing yep. else matters but that. Yep, exactly. It's just oh. another addiction. It's the same as any other addiction. It's actually, it seems worse. Shit. It's, it takes your whole emotions, it takes your whole mind, it takes everything like, you just forget about yourself like it's like they're the most it's like they're god do you get that because i get i think i get it to a certain extent like yeah. if i'm involved with somebody like i don't know if now because i guess because it's been so long since i've been involved with somebody to this extent but i remember my yeah. first and my second partner like we'd get together for 12 hours and then he'd leave for a couple of days and that whole time i mean it was like my heart was just going a million miles an mm. hour my chest was fucked it was just yeah I was I was just so obsessed, and if he didn't message me within five minutes of me messaging him, I'd get the shit. Is that what it's sort of yep, like? Yeah, exactly like that. Oh. It's, your heart palpitates. You even get physically sick. Yeah. Like I've been so sick, like trying to cut, get over him. Like I've had problems with my face, my teeth, my really? heart, my yeah, just physically fucked. Like it's like I'm dying of something. Like that's how bad it is. is I go through that. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. It's alright. So, so is it like, um, how can I say, so how do you know if it's, how do you know if it's just true, how do you know if you just fucking super love this guy, or mm. is it, is it the difference between being super in love with him, or is it you're in love with the idea of being in love, or is yep, it both, it is. or what? It's the idea of being in love. Right, so it's not this guy in particular. It's not him. Right. I've realised that now. Right, fuck, that'd be a big yeah. realisation. It's a massive awakening like yeah. because I thought that it was just like him and he's the only one I'm ever going to feel like that with and but it, but because of all the 
sick stuff that went on with our relationship, all the violence and all the... Yeah. He abused me mentally, like, a lot. He always played games, jealousy games, and he wouldn't take care of me properly. He was pretty bad to me. Yeah. And so, but I thought I was connecting him to the feeling, so I was, like, addicted to the romance side of it, but then that went. Yeah. And I really loved, like, I realised I'm addicted to the romance and the emotionalism of it all. Yeah. And then there was the sex, but then I wasn't getting that, so I had to connect with something else. Yeah. And it was just the connection with him. And then when he started rejecting me a lot, I felt very rejected and just, like, I realised that I snapped out of it, that I realised he's fake, like, he's not... He doesn't really love me. Like, he'd say he loves me all the time, and that's hooked me into it a lot. Yeah. But his actions never showed that. Yeah. Yeah, and that was very, very painful. How long have you... Been dating. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I've done that's that right. twice now. That's so that okay. So he, you see, like you said, you said it was very painful. How long have you been with him for? About five years, on and off. So it's, has it been constantly on and off, or was it on for four and off for the last? Or uh, I was constant sex stuff for the first year and a half, two years. So that's what made the relationship. Pretty much, yeah. Start. That hooked him right into it and right. hooked me right into him, because yeah. it felt so good and like I felt so close to him because. I've had sexual abuse when I was young, yeah. so I never wanted sex after that for a lot of years. Even yeah. though I was married, I still like I was scared of that. Yeah. Showing my body and like just being intimate with someone, like I was terrified of it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because of the rapes and stuff. But now, like, oh. I with him, I felt comfortable, but I didn't realize it was a sick, sick thing, and I didn't even know him. Like it was just sex. I didn't yeah. know the guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and but he was on pot and steroids and. Yeah. Yeah. So. He had a good body. He's got a good body, doesn't he? Yeah, he had a good body. Doesn't he have a good body anymore? He doesn't work out anymore. Oh, but he was pretty sexy, though. But, but did that does that change the sexual attraction now that he doesn't have? No, it didn't actually. No. No. So just the same. No, it was just this thing that I had with him, like a, um, like an energy thing, a connection to the energy. But that wasn't there was at powerful. the start. It was the sex, wasn't it? So yeah, but just... both. Oh yeah, actually it was it just the sex. After a couple of months when he said to me, oh, I don't want you to see anyone else, like, that's pretty much how he communicated that he wanted to be with me. Right. And I felt really wanted. Yeah. Like, it hooked me right in. I thought, oh, he loves me. Like, mm, yeah. But you know what? That was actually really smart of him to do that. Mm. I wonder if that's, I wonder if he knew what he was doing or yeah, if I that's know. just him. I know. Like, because to say to you, to say it to you in that way, you put, you put the nail... The hammer, what do they say? You put the hammer right on yeah. the, hit the nail right on the head on the or whatever. Head. Because, yeah, you yeah. S- like for him to say to you, I don't want you to be with anyone else, that's also, that could be really sort of controlling. It's mm. not, not not just saying, I love you, Come, yep. you know, let's be together. Yeah, I know. I don't know, interesting way yeah. to do it. Yeah, it took five months till he said he loved me. Because uh, I said to him, I love you. And then he said, oh, I love you too, I think. And I was like, oh. But then, yeah, so when he said that, because I was with other guys at the time. Yeah. And he said that, I thought, oh, wow, this is fantastic. Like, this guy wants me. But see, that's... So. I feel that when when a relationship finally turns into what you want it to. Mm. So how do you know the difference? It felt right. Yeah. It did. It felt really right. But then there was too much wrong. There was too much... There was too much... Him, he started being mean to me every now and then. Oh. At first, after about nine months, he snapped at me once. Yeah. And then he was really controlling. Like, we'd go shopping, for instance, as an example. And I'd go to grab stuff off the shelf. And he would take it out of my hand and go, you don't need that. And put really? it back. And that's just one thing he did. Oh. He did everything. He was controlling with everything. That would have rang it. Did that ring alarm bells straight did. away? Straight did you away. Did go, what? Yep. What just happened then? Yep. What, I did. I went, that's not right. Just, like, hair products and really food and... So anything, nothing Any, Anything. And then we were at my house, he just didn't leave. Like, he just stayed there all the time. Yeah. And just hung around. And then I felt I couldn't say anything. Like, I didn't want to say, like, you have to go, like, you're hanging around all the time. He pretty much started living there. And he didn't even give me any money. Or he was eating all my food. Like, oh. he was just a really like a, a leech. Sounds like a kid. He was. Yeah, he was like a kid. He Is was he still like a kid? kid? Yeah, a lot. Yep. Yeah. All he does is play PlayStation games all night, if that is what he does. Yeah, and how old is he? 29 nearly. Shit. 
Yeah. Fuck, you like him younger like I do. Yeah, <laughs> but he started smoking pot when he was 15. Yeah. And he did that um, until like, what, a year ago, two years ago or something? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. He's never grown up. So, thanks Catherine. Good. That was, that was really good. <laughs> Thank you. You did 